Hi Year 10, um, I hope you're all well. Uh, welcome back to the new year. Obviously not quite what we were expecting, um, but here we are. So um, just going to go through uh, lesson four today for Thursday the 7th of January. We're going to carry on where we left off just before Christmas, looking at exchange and transport in animals. Um, and today the topic is around anaerobic respiration. So this presentation is just going to go through um, some of the key parts for today and set you up for the, the bits and pieces you need to do. Um, so just uh, what are we going to look at? The first thing, um, just as a, a reminder, I've written down on Go for Schools that there is a Microsoft Forms quiz that I'd like you to complete. Um, this is on uh, the digestive system, so looking at one of our previous topics. Um, then for this presentation, uh, this we're going to go through a few things. We're going to look at some previous learning, recap um, what we know already about aerobic respiration. The new learning today is to look at what anaerobic respiration is, what are the what's the equation for it, and what are the effects of anaerobic respiration in animals. We'll then summarise that. There'll be a short consolidation task for you, and then I have set you a quiz on educate. Uh, which I will introduce. Okay, so you'll do now task. Okay, I'll introduce, then you can pause the video and have a go at. So I want you to have a go at writing the word symbol and if possible the balanced symbol equation for aerobic respiration. Then I want you to annotate your equation to tell me where the reactants, where the reactants in the equation come from. And then a little bit of research. So the word aerobic means with oxygen. What do you think the word anaerobic means? Search up the word in either a paper or online dictionary and write out the definition of both words in your exercise book. OK, so pause the video now and have a go at those tasks. OK, let's have a look how you got on. So, uh, oh, some of this is not, has come through a little bit uh, <laughs> odd. So, um, looking at aerobic respiration, okay, first of all, uh, here's our equation. You should have written down that glucose and oxygen uh, gives us carbon dioxide, water, and energy. Here's our equation. Um, ignore the red parts for the moment. Um, they've come up uh, before they should have done, but our Symbol equation C6H12O6 for glucose, O2 for oxygen, CO2 for carbon dioxide, H2O for water. Okay, remember there's no symbol for energy. It doesn't matter which order you've done the reactants and the products in as long as they're on the right side. Um, this is what the balanced symbol equation should look like. We should have a 6 before the O2, a 6 before the CO2, and a 6 before the H2O. And then finally, um, what we should have said was is that uh, glucose is, comes from the process of digestion and oxygen comes from breathing, so when we take in oxygen. okay. And hopefully you have a definition now of those two. We're going to look at that in, a, uh, in just a moment. Okay, so new learning, anaerobic respiration. So anaerobic respiration is respiration without oxygen. Uh, and when you put the prefix an in front of the word, it means without. Okay, so the an part of that word means without. Aerobic means with oxygen, so anaerobic therefore means without oxygen. Okay, check your definition uh, and make sure that you had that correct. So a little activity for you first of all. I'd like you to put your pen down, okay, but also to then lift your non-writing hand. So if you write with your right right hand, use your left hand here, put it above your head, open and close your fist as many times as you can for two minutes, approximately. And while you're doing that, I want you to think what's happening, okay? So I'm doing it at the same time as you right now, okay? See how much you can do. What's happening to your hand, okay? What do you feel? Now remember, inside your hand, okay, in all of the cells in your fingers, okay, you have lots and lots of um, mitochondria carrying out cellular respiration, okay. 
releasing oxygen for exercise as it's needed Re releasing oxygen for the muscles in your hand okay and they're doing that as quickly as they possibly can but around now okay if you're anything like me you should be starting to experience a little bit of discomfort in your fingers a little bit of uh, cramp maybe a little bit of fatigue notice that something is going on that and maybe now we're sort of thinking oh, I'm going to put my hand down but we need to keep going maybe even try and speed up the opening and closing of your fist keep going okay 30 more seconds This might now be getting a little bit painful, a little bit discomfort, okay? 15 more seconds. Keep going, keep clenching and opening and closing your fist. 10 seconds. Three, two, one, and put down your arm, okay? Shake your arm around a bit. Hopefully you noticed some kind of reaction there so what was going on was that there was not enough oxygen okay not enough oxygen most of the time um, your body cells has a, have a good supply of oxygen they can release energy by a process called aerobic respiration as we know but sometimes during strenuous exercise so, um, we increase our breathing rate we increase blood flow, but that's not enough um, to be able to deliver enough oxygen to the body cells. Okay, that process of getting more oxygen into our blood is not enough, and the body still needs energy. We still need to keep cl uh, clenching and unclenching our fist, so we release this from glucose from the glucose that's stored in our body through a process called anaerobic respiration. Okay, so anaerobic respiration equation, we're going to need to make a note of this. So during an anaerobic respiration, glucose is not completely broken down. So instead, it is converted into something called lactic acid. So instead of having that equation of glucose and oxygen leading to carbon dioxide and water, instead, because we have no oxygen, remember, we have glucose still producing energy because we're still getting energy from this reaction. Okay, that's the whole point of it, but we're producing something called lactic acid. So you can see the equation there in the middle of the screen. And lactic acid is actually a poisonous waste product, and it causes muscle fatigue and cramps, like, for example, making your hand ache. Okay, so it's the lactic acid that produces that discomfort in your muscles. Now, what are the effects of anaerobic respiration in animals? So, um, and I should say at this point, we are going to look at anaerobic respiration in plants at a different point. Okay, we're going to come on to looking at that later on when we discuss the whole area of plants separately. But as anaerobic respiration involves the incomplete breakdown of glucose, it produces therefore less energy than aerobic respiration. It's therefore less efficient and less energy is transferred to the cell. So we don't get as much energy from it. It doesn't work as well. Okay. And therefore, because of that, we only use it in emergencies. So we only use it such as vigorous exercise or, for example, when a prey is being chased by a, by a predator, when suddenly we need to have a, a sudden spurt of, uh, a burst of speed, for example. Okay. Um, in addition, during anaerobic respiration, we build up something called oxygen debt. Oxygen debt, okay? Now, we're not going to discuss that anymore this lesson. We're going to look at that next time when we talk about some of the effects of exercise. Okay, we're going to look into more detail about lactic acid and more detail at oxygen debt. Okay, so I'm just going to summarize those parts, parts okay, and then let you go and do some work. So, Anaerobic respiration is respiration without oxygen. It occurs when the body needs energy, but there is not enough oxygen to carry out aerobic respiration. The equation is glucose 
giving rise to lactic acid and energy. The glucose, however, is not completely broken down during anaerobic respiration, so it produces less energy and is less efficient than aerobic respiration. And lactic acid is produced, which is poisonous. Okay, so what I'd like you to now go and do, you will have some notes that you've taken. If not, go back and have a look back through the video at bits and pieces. I'd like you to now compare and contrast aerobic and anaerobic respiration in terms of their efficiency, the effects of their use, where they're carried out, um, the, the reactants and the products of each. Okay, so write a, draw comparisons similarities and differences between the two of them okay that's your main piece of work you'll hopefully have a paragraph to explain that okay pause the video and have a go at that now okay once you've done that okay what i'd like you to consolidate and finish with today is a quiz on educate and the link will be on go for schools okay um, and this is just a bunch of questions comparing aerobic and anaerobic respiration okay so that is your main task today you've had the microsoft forms quiz okay um, which is a recap of some pre of our previous topic there's some new learning there on an anaerobic respiration a consolidation task and a, um, a quiz for you to complete if you have any questions please do let me know. Um, uh, give me a shout. I will be around uh, during the lesson time tomorrow on Thursday and on Friday as well. And I'll see you some more work for Friday's lesson. Okay. Um, otherwise, I uh, hope to see some of you at Parents Evening, Virtual Parents Evening. Um, if not, I'll speak to you soon. Bye for now.